Good morning to everyone, I am Simone and I will present the Euclid's elements. I won't read the elements, so I won't tell exactly what, it, what it's written on, uh, on that book. I just want to present main theorems uh, of that book and to demonstrate them. Uh, sorry for my bad English, but uh, I'm Italian, I'm not English at all. So. I'm speaking uh, in a very bad way, but uh, I hope to be comprehensible to most of you, most of the people. The first book of the, um, of the elements starts with uh, definitions. Definitions are sentences which explain what uh, geometrical elements are. Geometric elements are, for example, uh, the definition number one explain what a point is. The definition number two explain what the line is, and uh, and so on. Uh, so I won't give definition for two reasons. The, the first is that um, it's uh, very easy to get uh, get them on the internet, and the second is because um, most of you will uh, already know that what uh, what is a point, what is a line, what is um, a curve, a surface, a triangle, a square, a rectangle, and so on. So I won't give definitions. Postulates are much more important than definitions. For example, the first postulate of the elements, we'll, we'll sign it, like P. Wait, wait. wait. It's quite difficult to see. Okay. P1. Is that? If I have two points, let's say A and B. There will be always a line which joins the two points. Always. It's not demonstrated. It's just uh, given, and it's um, uh, it's asked. Uh, I want this to be true. I want that uh, this is true. So it's not demonstrated, it's just um, a starter. Postulate number two says another thing about lines. If I have a line A and B, with extremes A and B, it's true that I can I can draw other other pieces of line to increase its length from A B to maybe C D always and this is true it's not demonstrated right like the first one. The third one P three postulate number three is that if I have a point I can draw a circle around it. Okay, and it's not demonstrated. And I can draw, in fact, how many circles I want, how many circles I want. Okay, so this is postulate number three. Postulate number four. Is 
this this thing. Every ninety degrees angle, for example, this one and this one is e is equal to the other. For example, if I have two ninety degrees angles, they will be equal to the to each other. So it's um, quite. Uh, Maybe it's quite uh, evident, but anyway, it's the first postulate. The fifth postulate is that let's imagine that a line. meets two other lines a line maybe AB the other lines will be CD and EF well let's take the sum of two conjugate angles, for example, this and this. Of course, there will be two couples of conjugate angles, this one and this one. Okay, the two lines, DC, EF, will meet at the same side, in the same side where the sum of the conjugate angles is less than 180 degrees okay and this is the famous fifth postulate that brings to non euclidean geometries and uh, and so on okay and that's all for postulates We'll meet again for actions.